Hey kids, how are you? Today is jueves, jueves already, jueves 5 de noviembre. Well, time flies. Okay, so what are we doing today? We're talking about food, right? So yesterday we were talking about what makes you feel at home when you get home. So many of you, I'm just going to put these answers. By the way, I only have 31 answers. You can see here. I know who wrote. I know who didn't. If you have not done it, go do it. What makes you feel at home? Okay. Sometimes your own bed is the place where you say, ah, this is home. Because your bed is not like a hotel bed. Sometimes it's the lights. Sometimes it's the TV. Sometimes it's the smell of the food that uh, your mom is making or dad is making or grandma is making. Sometimes it's just something that is difficult to perceive. But that is exactly what we're doing today. We're trying to learn what makes you feel like you are in your own place. Remember, if you were a caveman, you're, you're actually doing this part. We're the cavemen and we have to go and uh, understand this culture because we want to survive. Our friends don't want us to, to go with the scientists because the scientists are going to do the, the scary cut over here open. We want to avoid that. Okay, so what do you like to eat? Que te gusta comer? Oh, forgot about that. Half of you knows how to say, I like to eat. Me gusta comer. The other half of you is still, oh, mm, oh, mm, oh. Mm. Some of you because Spanish one last year was not the best. Some of you because you have never seen it. Anyway, hoy, today, before I start with my class, I'm going to eat this. What is this? Is it closer? Full roasted crickets. Why am I eating these things? Because they were 50% off, right? So <laughs> when it's that cheap, you cannot say no. So, are they good? They're good. Have you eaten the pork? You're gonna say that is nasty. Oh my god, I can't hear you saying that. Just like the rest of the class. Okay, I'm opening this and it's not really letting me open it. Okay, let's see if by cutting that thing. Oh, finally. Okay, listos. We're gonna eat it right now in front of the camera just because. Well, this is the small ones. Let me just. Uh, these are the best. Okay, you can see over here they're small, they're good, they're crunchy. Mmm, they're really good. Next, you ready? Oh no, well, says. They're really good. It's raspberry flavor. Well, it tastes like mm, picantes, uh, sriracha, crunchy, crujientes, um, addictive, maybe. They're really good. Oh, come on, guys. This, this is really good food. I cannot stop now. Mm. Eating on class. Okay. Well, I better stop eating because you are going to be like, how do I get these things? I don't know. By the way, talking about spicy things, guess what else did I eat? My ghost pepper ones. I just finished them. I didn't have a lot to do <clears throat> because I have been eating them the whole week. Hmm. Delicioso. Okay, so what else? I have this picture for you today. Mm -hmm. You see the picture? This is a hot pot. So just guessing by these things, what do you think this is happening? Okay, you, you have it for you. Go and look at it. Look at the ingredients, look at the colors. 
This is a well-balanced meat. I mean, meal. It has proteins. It has vegetables. It doesn't have fruits. Thank God. But it's it's well balanced. So where do you think you eat this? Or with whom? So can you just go into the source or fountain and eat with anyone? Or do you have to do that with some people? Right, with your friends or with your family. You only feel comfortable doing that with, with people you really like. Why? Why is that? Could you do this freely with somebody you do not know? Your food is another way to say, I am home. Okay, so what are we going to do today? Yesterday, we were working with our slides on gustar. I mean, with our food. Today, we're going to work with gustar. You already have food. You put food that you kind of like that you were not very efficient in saying, I really like this. Today, we're going to learn how to say, me gusta, no me gusta, me gustan, and no me gustan. You're going to start here. You can put a, a link here and here, so you can click on this or on this, and you're going to learn how to use it. After that, you're going to do this one, regular verbs that is easy. You just to review your verbs. This is, again, how to use gustar. Then we're going to make sure that you get the distinction between me gusta and me gustan, because you can say both, depending on what you have after. If I have just one thing, is me gusta. If I have something that is a, a plural noun, like chocolates or candies, you see the S at the end, then you have to say me gustan. Okay, and then we'll have a review here. We're gonna do this four, and our exit ticket is another one based on this. So, we said, in seven minutes, 20 something seconds in this video, let's work on it. You can do this.